The Book of Lamentations portrays a man of God grappling with the consequences of evil and suffering in the world, similar to the Book of Job. Context. It reveals Judah's dire state after the Babylonian conquest of Jerusalem, a result of the people's sins and disobedience. Content. The book consists of funeral poems lamenting the destruction of Jerusalem and the suffering of its people. Themes. Themes include grief, repentance, and the consequences of turning away from God's ways. Message. It serves as a poignant reflection on the devastating effects of sin and the importance of seeking forgiveness and restoration. It was written soon after the fall of Jerusalem in 586 BC. He was an eyewitness. He predicted this destruction, as did others, watched it take place, and now in this book he is sadly reflecting on it. Key personalities are the prophet Jeremiah and the people of Jerusalem. In chapter 1, Jeremiah mourns for Jerusalem and Judea as it lays in ruin by the raid and destruction of Babylon. How lonely sits the city that was full of people. She has become like a widow who was once great among the nations. She who was a princess among the provinces has become a forced laborer. 1 to 1, chapter 2, he described the anger of the Lord who brought judgment to the wicked land. As God had warned, in fierce anger he has cut off all the strength of Israel. He has drawn back his right hand from before the enemy. 2 to 3, chapter 3, we see Jeremiah expressing his troubled spirit and suffering in gloom. He too is afflicted, as his homeland has been pillaged. On the other hand, he reminds us in verses 19 to 23, that God is faithful and will restore and bring his promise to pass. The Lord's loving kindness indeed never cease, for his compassions never fail. 322. Finally, in chapter 4, we read that God has brought justice and ruled mightily. During the siege, the city of Jerusalem suffered incredibly. Starvation was so bad and widespread that the Israelites resorted to eating their own children. The nation was warned about their sin and disobedience and the penalty of the coming judgment of God, and in verse 11 we read, The Lord has accomplished his wrath. 